Hi guys, so this is September 9th, week 2, and I just want to show you guys where we are. So, I did pull out some of the things. My zinnias are here. These are beans. Um, these are Kentucky pole beans. My green peppers. They're actually supposed to be red bell peppers, so I'm going to wait and see if they're going to get red. Then we have some, I think these are zucchinis, the yellow zucchini, yellow squash. I did have some issues with aphids, so I did do some spraying out um, with just soapy water. These are supposed to be lemon cucumbers. My Thai chili peppers are going good. I have some red ones. I like to leave it to get red. Marigold, Zinnia. Look at this vibrant color. Oh my gosh. It is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. And then I have Zinnia at the back there. Some more peppers here. We have the red and the two yellows. My eggplant. Um, these tomatoes are blossoming. The blossoms are still on them. No fruit or anything as yet. Another squash my chrysanthemums um, I think this is what I have a cucumber I think at the back there these are my I think those are bell peppers I really have to go through and weed out some of the stuff that's between now and take care of it it's just been raining quite a bit my Malibar spinach is just running and I'm in love I'm gonna pick some more in a couple of days my peppers flowering i had to spray this down but i think this might be some signs of blight if you guys don't let me know my tabasco peppers i think it's now catching itself since i bought it jerry when i do these store-bought ones that are dying it takes about two to three weeks and then look at these marigolds they're so pretty so this is my, um, I think these are actually either Boston Picklin or National Picklin cucumbers. They had a huge infestation. Um, I had to spray it a couple times. So twice for the week already, I'm giving it a break and then sometime maybe, um, not tomorrow, the other day, midweek, I will actually spray it again. Some more peppers, tomatoes. And then we have nasturtiums. <laughs> we actually have a little watermelon there. I don't, I mean, the watermelon is more like, I don't know, I'm not expecting any watermelon. So if I do get anything at this point, they'd have to spray because look, if it's here, then when I look down between here, I saw a terrible patch. So I'm gonna pull out some of these plants. We just have like some really stormy rain tomorrow and I don't wanna pull out some of my plants that I am using to cover these are bell peppers but this one one of these are hot that one is hot my husband oh he usually eats really hot peppers and he said they were way too spicy I did make some hot sauce that I use some bitter melon I actually have a bitter melon to do some picking where is that bitter melon I'm supposed to have a really large one. Oh, there it is can you guys see look so I'm gonna rip that today I'm gonna do some harvesting after I do this video so the pepper plants that I have in here are blossoming now my okra took a little beating because I came out one day and these two were pretty much eaten out but I have some blooms up there and then that's my cayenne pepper about there my bananas these peppers are going amazing I don't know can't remember what seeds these were, but they were in pots and this, look how tall, this is almost my height, this one here. Yeah, and the okra's here, another grasshopper, I think it's grasshoppers, and not a uh, hornworm. So we have the other watermelon plant that's somewhere here is just all over this. This is kind of like a hot mess. These are my sunflowers and look, somebody's starting to open. 
this is vegan. This is this plant is at least about maybe two plus months. Um, so yeah, I don't even know what type of sunflower this is, and my zinnias are down there. And then these other red wig and the okra. These tomatoes are actually looking good now. Have some baby ones here. I'm still looking at blossoms. And we have my raised beds. My sish shiso is doing really well. But I have something going on on this side of the bed because the cherry tomatoes that are over there are suffering. And so it's the nasturtiums. So but this one is blossoming. I'm super excited for that. I have these peppers are growing really well. Um, more peppers here. Then I did have to spray these down a bit because something was biting um, them. Then we have over here my ginger growing and then there's that random pepper plant that I just did not take out my basil. I've been picking them. I made my um, seasoning and stuff and these are my beans. I have stuff going over by my neighbor. This pepper here is actually blossoming. I'm seeing fruit. This pepper here is like a jungle. So it's because it's falling down. It's a bit crazy. And then I have some beans. I may have a chance to pick a couple beans soon. Then we have... So I resurrected this mint and it's catching. I'm going to pick some today to make some tea. I've been picking from this every three days and I'm seeing it is doing going really well um, so I just have some stuff down here these things my turmeric plant oh my gosh I'm in love someone says that these can actually blossom give you a nice flower I'm hoping by the you know that somewhere so something has been killed by um, eating the leaves off of my seedlings I'm a little bummed out because look at this one here and with the rain everything is just all just messy because it's splattered this is actually my brad's atomic grape tomato i don't even know if this is gonna be i might take this inside the house if it gets cold and i can't keep it out and then we have my random pole bean that i threw with my nasturtium growing really well in here what is this Oh, this is a mint. How did mint reach in here? Okay, <laughs> this this pot doesn't see to amaze me. It was happening. Then on this side here, we have a lot of beans and peas. So that is actually a jappy little pumpkin. Um, I don't know if that's gonna run well. I'm just seeing it there. It's not doing much, but I'm just gonna let it be. These are um whole beans these are a bunch of different types of peas can't remember the names but I, I think some of the sticks are in there then these are lima beans here in this spot I just put it so it can run on all these kind of stuff here so these actually did catch themselves the spaghetti squash that was in here I don't think that's gonna make it but I'm not gonna touch it touch it for now and then I have some whole beans there this was again in a pot. I don't know if I planted it or not, but my husband transplanted it. We did transplant the um, pigeon peas to the other side of the yard. So I'll update you guys on that. All right, so today, this is today's basket. Got some parsley, some mint, some thyme, that's lemon and thyme, basil, lots of peppers, some okra, and some bitter melon and stuff, some flowers to pretty up the table.